Will the detector you select detect the newer digital radar guns that the police are using today? Back in the 1990s, this Custom Falcon K-band radar gun was the radar gun of choice with many police agencies throughout the world. Like those old cell phones you may have carried around, this radar gun is an analog system, which are fairly easy for any radar detector to detect. However, like your cell phone, police radar detector manufacturers have updated their technology to digital. These new digital radar guns, like this Genesis, use less power, but are much more deadly as they are much harder for detectors to detect. Because of this, I test and rate detectors based upon their ability to detect these newer digital radar guns and not some antiquated radar gun used back in the 60s, like my competitors do. I then rank these detectors based upon their performance and my five-star rating chart based upon the detection capture distance they provide. As an example, detectors in the five-star category have eight times the capture distance of a police K and KA digital radar gun, while detectors I rank in the one-star category would alert about at the same time as the officer would capture your speed. Hi, I'm Radar Roy, a retired cop, certified radar instructor, and founded this website, Radar Busters, way back in 1995 to help people just like you make an informed buying decision when it came to selecting the best radar detector based upon their budget and their driving habits. First, I test the detectors in the one-star category. The RMR C495 performed the worst, detecting this Genesis at three quarters of a mile away, which is about the same distance that this Genesis was able to lock onto our speed. And then second to last, the Cobra Vendetta was able to detect a few hundred feet further away, but it was still easy prey for this Genesis. Next, we tested the detectors in the two-star category with the Whistler CR85 and the CR90. Both detected this Genesis at 1.5 miles away, which is twice the capture distance of this Genesis. We then tested detectors in the three-star category, which includes the Passport, which was able to detect this Genesis three miles away, which is four times the capture distance of this radar gun. Next, we tested the Redline and the STI Magnum, which are categorized as four-star detectors, and it detected its Genesis right around six miles away, which is eight times the capture distance. And then the MAX-2, which is rated as a five-star radar detector, and it was able to detect this Genesis over 6.3 miles away, which is over eight times the capture distance of this gun. So why was the MAX-2, the Redline, and the Passport able to detect this Genesis so far away? Well, the engineers over at Escort have tapped into technology developed by NASA so they could communicate with satellites in deep space called Digital Signal Processing, or DSP for short. What this DSP technology does is that it targets the DNA of police radar and filters out the background noise. The result is that your radar detector can detect police radar like this much further away, while also filtering out most of those pesky false alerts. So if you're shopping for a radar detector, you may be thinking, which radar detector should I consider that uses this new DSP technology? Well, here are the three I recommend. If you're budget conscious and drive mostly in a city environment, I would recommend the Passport. If you're a road warrior or a commercial driver and spend most of your time driving on the open road, the red line. But if you demand and deserve the best protection and drive an equal share on both highway and city, I recommend the Max 2. Now, right above this video, I have a banner that links directly to my radar detector review page on Radar Busters. Click on it and you can check out my other radar detector reviews and videos. Now, if you're already on our website and watching this video, scroll down. Here you'll find the detectors I recommend. When you find one that you like, click on it, and a page will open up with additional information on that detector and a video review. This is Radar Roy from RadarBusters.com. Thank you for watching, and please remember, drive safe, drive smart, but most of all, drive protected.